Now we wait for my mother to sign in. <laughs> Have a party and the one's coming. I know. Oh, there you go. All right. We're off and running. Let's talk into the Netherlands. We're going to do that. I go and invite some people on Facebook. Whatever, it'll be as beautiful as then you can select this uh, question. Yeah. Okay, so I'd like hit it. What if I hit on it twice, it goes up to the top? All right, we'll see. So then that, that way you can know that you're answering it, then when you're done, you're done. Um, um, okay. <clears throat> so I think he's. Yeah, he's there now, so yeah. I can he can kind of hear me. Do I have to type it or I just talk it? You should save that for with the actual seven thirty. Because by my watch it's still time to play the bathroom. No, I know, I know, I know. I think you just answered the second. We have to wait for my mom at least. <clears throat> And it's not officially 7.30 yet. Hi, everybody. If you're here, who's ever here? <laughs> Greetings, viewers. That's Donna back right there. She's the best. Where is she? That's Donna back. And there's oh, Kaidi. You can see Kaidi. Wait, wait. Hello, everybody. We're just we're just being really cut, and there's Lionel too. But we're just being very informal. It's just it's just my mother right now, I think, and she and she can't figure out how to talk, which is probably good. I well, yeah, she can she can come. This is kind of an interesting shot. At least you can see what we have to work around here, including that really bright light. Alan asked a question about uh, Second Avenue Subway, which I would assume we can speak about tonight, and all the other big MCA projects. Uh, thanks for joining us, you two. We'll just kind of say hi as people come in. I'll be happy when my mom gets here and a couple others from our trail team, because we need to catch up, and I need to hear what's going on where you are and that. This is kind of interesting. In a way, I'm just sitting here and talking to myself. Which happens sometimes anyway. So we can do this and we can have some fun. Hopefully people will log on and tell me about their wonderful train rides and subway station conditions. Maybe we could break a dozen. I think that would be kind of cool. I prepared some other questions and some things that we could talk about. So I can always read from the book that I'm currently reading now, which is The Routes Not Taken. A guy at the MTA wrote this, and it's about the kind of the underground system that is not in use right now, and it's, it's, it's interesting. You know, there used to be all kinds of elevated even lines here on the Third Avenue, uh, up top Third Avenue or so, which they just disassembled. I think it was in the 50s or in the 60s, probably because people didn't like the noise. Thank God they didn't take down the J, because then I wouldn't have had a thing to inspire me when I first moved here and lived uh, at the Kosciuszko stop. Yeah, could you imagine uh, Broadway there in Brooklyn without the J? Or that that was actually along 3rd Avenue? Pretty interesting. So I guess the way it works is people can uh, log on and uh, open their microphone or, or post a picture or just uh, turn up their video. I should have taken out the trash. <sighs> Hey, Tam, he's here, too. Uh, post and type your questions. I'm going to kind of figure this out as it goes along. Mr. G did one of these, and, you know, that was interesting. I should have figured out a way to ask him neat questions about the weather. But I guess if I want to ask him questions about the weather, I could just go up and ask him. Just like you can always uh, write to me or Facebook me, uh, give me an email, and that's that. Uh, Alan asked a question. Uh, thanks for doing this. You guys can see that maybe. It's up at the top of your thing. 
It says I'm currently answering it, so I suppose I should currently answer it. Took uh, the SBS 15 for the first time. What's uh, my uh, insider reflection on it? So, oh, yep, and if you forget to swipe that uh, SBS thing, you could get a $100 ticket from the Eagle team. That's Jeremy. He's here to make sure I don't say anything I shouldn't say. What, have, have we received any reports from the front office? Uh, none yet. I just want to make sure everything is completely out there in public. I should call. Let's call mom and ask her if she's fired up yet. Because <laughs> this is really the only test. I do, this is what I do at home when I'm FaceTiming with her. Mom? Default microphone. Can't find it. Mom can't find it. Uh-oh. How about that one link up there that we should do? Uh, I want reflection on I'm, 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 I'm working on it, Alan. I don't, you, can you hear me? Right? If, That's a good question, Kylie. Thanks. We're taking some questions from the audience here. That's the, what? I, 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 I know it was going to be loud. Donna Beck said she didn't mind. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, do you want to test, test it on your computer and see if? And in the meantime, I'll answer Alan's. Back to Alan's question. Uh, personal reflection. I think it's great that it expedites the process. Although sometimes you're still sitting in traffic, it, it's a good step. The bus lanes are helpful. They do keep things moving along. Adding an SBS route is the is a quick way to improve transportation in the area. Getting it at the 125th uh, Street corridor next, but the community boards up there, you know, it goes both ways. You put in the bus lane, you lose parking space. So you certainly have to wait, uh, wait uh, the options and make the best compromise. That's what I've noticed. Just dealing with city council or the MTA, the way uh, I get to. It's all about the compromise. So I, I think it helps. I know I hop on it and it gets me down sometimes to the movie theater and Kew Gardens a little faster from work. Uh, make sure you swipe your, uh, definitely swipe your ticket. I think this is the wave of the future. There are something like 20 more, 20 more planned. Ooh, another guest. We only have, we have six. We uh, Oh, we just lost. Ooh, we just got one. Could be what, what are we doing here? We're just, we don't know if we can actually be heard because my mother says that that, and that, that she can't find us. So this could be... Oh my goodness, we're in the presence of TV royalty. What, what, what's happening? It's, it's the Google Hangout that you did. So uh -huh. we're trying it out, we're trying it out here. Uh -huh. But we... Uh, ooh, seven viewers. You, we, we're doing better now. You see, he uh, pops on the screen and all of a sudden it's like... <laughs> so, all right, Mr. G, thank, nice jacket. All right, so what is this? This is just talking, right? Now we're trying to we're trying to see any pointers. Are you being muted? I don't know. See, I don't. There's. Didn't you have dangerous. other pictures? This is a little dangerous. What happens is you can mute them by mistake. Oh yeah. They can't hear them. They can hear you. All right. Well, so you have to make sure that this well, is clear. Well, that's what Jeremy is checking. Well, I think that those bars. I know. I would think mean that, that, that audio is going out, right? Right. Is this live? Should that also be <laughs> Should this also be green? I would think live. Well, you think live is red, right? It's a little red button that we uh, that we stare at, a little red light. All right, let's go check. I know Jeremy's working on this. All right. And in the meantime, uh, did I answer your question, uh, kind of, Alan? Um, and you know, if you if you forget to swipe, I, that it's a tough case to make. I. I talked to a lady who got a ticket and she tried to make the argument with the Transit Adjudication Bureau that she had a transfer. Uh, you know, so uh, theoretically she was uh, trying to argue I had it on my card, it should count. But if you look at the regulation and I asked them about this, technically it says you can't, uh, you can't hop on the bus without that piece of paper. So it's not only that you have it coming for you, you have to have the piece of paper in your in your property or in on your person or something like that is what it says. Hi, I'm Jay and Mr. G. I'm just going to click through here see what happens. I guess I can't really write back to anybody so sometimes I will and I guess sometimes I won't. Hello, Phil. Can you, can you, can you see it anywhere? We don't know for sure if anybody can actually 
actually see this. You want to go look? Sure. Or ask sure. Yeah. I don't know. My mom is texting me. This is usually the way it goes, you know, like when you're trying to cook eggs or something, and she's always like, still can't find it. And then she'll text me or so. I don't even call my mother because it's, the, the, you know, the phone. I'm not, not good on the phone. That's what I always like to say. Hi, Kelly. Thanks for step, stepping in, too. Um, Dr. Beck. Hi, Greg. Hi, Dr. Beck. It's kind of a really fun place to work. Honored to be here. We get to do a lot of interesting things and uh, stay connected to our New York neighbors. Now, a report from J. Dow. Right. Did you do some investigation? I did, although I'm not a member of the investigative. You are. You are. So here's in my do. heart. All right. So Orange, I was told that are you, you are alive in this up. You are alive. Because I work alone. <laughs> like a guest host situation. I can't just pull up like the desk. No, that's all right. That's good. I mean, it's not. This water's not for me. No, it's happening. Welcome to our show. That's what are we doing? Uh, we're, I'm just answering uh, the questions on. And the what side. are the questions? No, it's it's just basic things. It's supposed to be transit, but uh, uh, that's you know we're starting with select bus. You know, I'm I'm trying to keep it pretty let's, professional here. Let's because, broaden it out. No, I think to let's what? About, like the Mets. The Mets. Want to talk about how nice your desk is compared to mine? Because you're. You want me to take a picture and you know, show it to everyone? Yeah, you, know, you tweet that out and then we'll, we could be really interactive. With that you want me to go do that? Yeah, go do that and bring it out. Yes, I can. Shouldn't you be working? <laughs> see, I'm, I'm technically. Uh, this. Yes. Hi, Dark. Hey, Fulton. Nice to see you. Uh, Tammy's there, too. All right, more questions. And let's get the report from my mother on text. Uh, and others. Mom still can't find it, but you know, they still have a VCR. And then and my dad will still call up and say, can't get the VCR to work. Uh, Second Avenue Subway, Alan asks, uh, that's the first ride on that is supposed to be December 2016. But remember, the 7 train was supposed to be ready by the spring, and they already pulled that back to probably December, maybe, or maybe the maybe the fall. It was something to see the first ride there with Mayor Bloomberg, uh, former Mayor Bloomberg, a project that he helped push through, and the uh, city paid for, too. Is this the desk picture? Because uh, you want to finish your thought? No, I, I, I was just kind of... Rambling, you know, it's the internet, so we have all kinds of time to fill right up to eight o'clock when this is done. So, all right, so I see I'm honored to sit next to Jay Dow too. He, although he's he's really doesn't contribute snacks or anything to the. So here's Greg Mock. Right, we might have to. Can you see that? Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's. You'll good. point out what we're looking at. Well, you know, there's the, there's that that's the bag. There's a the, the bag. My bag is there. This is a stack of very important papers. I mean, there's research in there. I might need that paper right in the middle. You know, you throw a piece of... I saw of, a paper from Marvin Scott from the 60s that's, in that bottle. That's, I, I'm saving that. It's the archives right there. I might need that. And now we have a picture of Jay's desk. Yeah. Okay, what's your point? Uh, no point. Yeah. Just wanted to show you a comparison. It's a, that is a good side-by-side uh, -side way to go. So what transit issues are we discussing tonight? I don't know. Do you have any transit questions? Do you, uh, What do you, you – I mean, I uh, know you sometimes take the train, although you are also a driver. Oh. I don't know exactly what point what? you're trying to make. That you, I, I don't operate uh, motor vehicles. So you I, I, I'm a subway guy. I have driven. I, you know, when I lived in a place that didn't have – as cool a system uh, as we I have right up, now. I grew up in Jersey, so, you know. That's good. I don't know if they can hear us as well back here. I'm kind of disappointed right, that no one's, we don't have any pictures. Like, they Where? were going to be interactive well, with can their... Can we find out? With, uh, yeah, just press things. That's probably how we ended up in this uh, position oh, in reverse. That's not cool. Uh, uh, news from my mother. She has now logged on officially. Uh, I think where she is watching. How do you scroll down to see if there are any other messages? You just you got. Uh, it's like this. There we go. So yeah, I mean, that we, yes, we should probably get to some of these. When is Fulton set? Uh, that's uh, I think that's Ju uh, May, the Fulton Center thing. But all of it won't be open. There's a part at the World Trade Center that connects you to the E, or the R, or something. So that won't be. But eventually, yes. Oh, look, that, that, was, that was this question. 
That was you this keep question. talking about transit and the numbers keep going up. Well, that's, I mean, it's, that's the, it's whole the point. thing that unites us. No, it's, that sounds really grand, doesn't it, to say that? Yeah. But it actually is. I think I'm not is. sure I have anything else to add. Well, you, well, you would just pop back in and let I us, should probably uh, just go. check out. We have 15 more minutes. As long as I stick around, lower your number again. No, that's not true. Have uh, fun. Uh, yeah. More pictures uh, of our desks. I don't think they're going to change the uh, the. <laughs> yes, mom. Hi, mom. Hi. Oh, just like FaceTime. All right. So you can't. Do you have a microphone icon somewhere? All right. Well, um, I don't know. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll well we'll figure. I guess we'll figure that out because I don't know if uh, it it may not be. Okay. Mom says hello. I understand. Well, it could be the way that this is set up, uh, and they're working. We'll see. All right. Well, that's good. Okay. All right. Well, our technical staff is hard at work on this. So goodbye. Mom says hello. Here's Jer did Jeremy. Did you get again. on there? She figured it out. Yes. She did. Yeah, excellent. Um, but but she can't talk. Apparently no one. Can. So I'm just gonna keep going. Work with Matt. Like we had some qu we have questions and I people typed uh, the questions are there. So I had some of those, but there's no, or they're just neglecting not to talk. We've got no, we've got it on Facebook. I'm thinking. You can just keep talking to them. I'm just gonna. Ryan, oh, right, or because this is the fun part. <laughs> this is like what what somebody said earlier. This is uh, like it was for television, maybe in 1948, mm -hmm. where we're like, uh, please do not adjust your sets. My hair is this color. Um, <laughs> I had a sign for this very moment too. <laughs> And I was going to hum something, or maybe make that beeping sound, like elevator music or so. <laughs> so. so my favorite story from yesterday was the guy that jumped down on the tracks and somehow... Yeah, and he got his... Uh, what happened his to him? He survived and by lying down in the... In the in between the tracks, so in the trough of it, they call that. But I don't know, you're on, he's on, he was on the L out in Brooklyn, and... Dropped a phone, figured he had a shot to get it, which is never uh, a never cool thing. I looked up the stats on that, and you know, a uh, hundred people died last year. And granted, a lot of them are suicides, which is tragic, uh, just with that. But to just put yourself down there for the phone that you could probably go get somebody to help you go get, which is what they're there for. Mm -hmm. it's, I get to go down on the tracks, but knowing that after I took a class and. You know, went uh, to be certified, and also I knew a train wasn't coming, so that kind of uh, that kind of helped. And then when the train was coming, just to see it go by and know that I was in a safe place, uh, that was an important thing. So you hop down there; it's hard to get back up, too. I think the video yeah, of me you had the experience yes, of trying to get back up. And you was... can see the embarrassing video of me trying to get back up on my Pixel11.com mocker page. All right, let me go see. All right, we'll do it now. I, I, I will just return back to my, my list. Don asked me what my favorite subway station is, and I think that um, my favorite one has to be the one that gets gets me home. Oh, there, that's kind of sappy. Uh, I also, I think the Beverly Road one is cool out on the, you know, I think it's the Q. Yeah, it's the Q in Brooklyn. The Good, thanks for your support. More waving. Yay, more waving. More waving. Because uh, it's kind of an old old looking house. I posted that on the uh, on my story from uh, yesterday that was about the best and worst and tallest and deepest subway stations. There are so many unique aspects to the system and it's been 
fun to be able to get around and see all of these and to see the different parts of the system, the different stations, the different conditions at different things based on that. And then to just be able to report that and to take that to the MTA is, is something that's pretty cool. Because um, I think they're, you know, they, they have, uh, they got a job to do. And big giant system. 468 stations. It's a 12 billion dollar budget. You know, sometimes where do you start uh, with some things? They're trying to be more responsive to our uh, complaints and questions and suggestions too. Metro North is having these public kind of dialogues at stations. Six of them scheduled. One was today at Grand Central between four and six. Yeah, it's the middle of the commute time, but people were they were making announcements and they put the they put the leaflets on the seat uh, on the on the trip in in the morning so that you knew it was there and you know if you're passionate about something you get to go address it to the president of the railroad pretty good and tomorrow along the seven for all of my fellow riders of that in Long Island City I think it's PS 78 Q or so whatever there is on on Fifth Street um, and the water kind of in Long Island City the at, at 630 there's a forum on um, on the 7 train and all the work that's there. Councilmember Van Bramer and Carmen Bianco, the president of the subways, will be there to, again, answer questions. That's the worst thing. That, that's the thing everybody always asks me. You know, the MTA has these public hearings, and you can go and you can make a comment, and the board members are there, and, you know, and they're listening, but there isn't a lot of back and forth sometimes. I get it. At the at the board meetings, and when I ask the media office, who I appreciate their hard work and always uh, answering my emails and phone calls, you know I get that. But the general public might think they are never heard. So here's a shot, slowly, uh, slowly and surely, and we'll be back for the fair hike hearings probably next October or November. Always something. Yes, hidden subway stations. You know it's. Again, I can plug the book, which I have to finish reading. I like this. Route's not taken. Route's not taken. Uh, yes. You're right, Grandma and Grandpa trying to figure out how to work the computer. Ah. Wow, it's the hair, right? Is that why you said that? Are you? So, yes. Yes. Yes, Andrew. Yes, they do. <laughs> Thank you for, that was the one question that you got all night. You know, do the wheels on the bus go round and round? <laughs> Thank you, Carla. It's, it's Andrew from Westchester. Oh, go ahead, Carla. <laughs> now they're singing. Hey, maybe we could have dancers next time or so, like a musical act. Because this, this certainly has just turned into a giant monologue, uh, and not about, even a good one. But the, a that's the, one dancer. One dancer, yeah, just one, one, one dancer. Uh, and I see everyone. All right, Dara, I knew you'd come through with an MTA question. The B38 will improve. When, when will it be? Let's click on here. When will the B38 improve service since it's crowded and late, especially during rush hour? I think instead of limited service, it should be a SBS, just my two cents. They just added, what, the SBS 44 along Flatbush. I don't think the B38 is one that's being looked at for that. But, again, I hope you, you know, we've talked about this before, Dara. You, uh, we even did a couple stories out there. They tested the, the bus time thing on there a long time ago, huh, two years ago? I think they're looking at, uh, at other options. The B38 might be one. They were looking at... At some other corridors in in Brooklyn, I know, uh, kind of along Eastern Parkway, if if I remember correctly. I don't know. I did a story on it a little while back. Um, they're also looking at the at the stops, because when you get a SBS, often the local stops get moved, and some neighbors and some riders have complained that the SBS on uh, SBS 44. The local buses don't come soon enough or often enough at uh, some of the, at some of the parts. Such a big charge. So that's all right, and right to MTA customer service, and uh, we'll check on. I'll check on those things too. Thanks for your two two cents, Dar. Now I'm going to have more than two cents, right? <laughs> Let's see. The da -da -da. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Alan asks about the, uh, the B-38, too. They're working to restore parts of what? I think the B-37. Um, or no, it, I get after a while, all those numbers. I love the people that know the bus routes like the back of their hand. Uh, that's a, a good talent to have. I'm so much better at the subway since I always ride those, and I'm lucky enough to be able to walk or run quickly always to my other uh, locations. But bus service is certainly uh, an important part of the system. I think bus bus ridership was actually down a little bit last year, and I did the I did the story about the increase in subway ridership, like 1.7 billion rides. Isn't that amazing to think about? Um, highest number in 65 years. And, and probably even busier because in the old days when the systems were, oh, now we have to interrupt this. Really? I was just on a, I was completing my thought, but okay. I don't have anything to say. Sorry. Oh, okay. I know it's a great talking. shot, isn't it? Yes, one yes, yes. Well, we're talking Dara's there and Alan and Tammy, but unfortunately they uh, can't talk to us. Okay. So this has just been kind of, they can type. Right, of course. So okay. someone already compared it to uh, grandparents trying to figure out how to work the VCR. Oh no, we're like that commercial. Yes. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Uh, it's transit stuff. I was just kind of going on about bus service. How bus service was down a little bit last year, but that might have been because they switch around some routes and then people stop riding the bus because they think that they it's not coming or they will walk to is the side. Ridership really up because we talked about that yesterday. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it is. It's busier. I think you just ride the train. You know mm -hmm. that it's more packed on there, and they gotta do what they can to add more service. In some ways, they can't put more cars on it because of regulations. They have to travel within a certain distance of each other. Sure, sure. But the computerized things, like what they did on the L or on the 7, which is coming, that means they could put more trains I, was, I got stuck in the 7 today for a while, actually, because they were trying to figure out which one we were all going to get on. So I love get that. Into work. Yes. Right? And, but it's, an, it's, always, this side, this side, this it's side. always an excuse. I know. I know. And I, used, I, and, and, I, and I sent a note to my boss. I'm late for the meeting because the 7 is delayed. Well, yes. And thankfully we had, uh, and it looks like more of the um, stations are getting wireless. I feel yeah, like, right? in Queens, that's supposed to be, I think, by the summertime, uh, okay. all of those underground ones. Well. And if you need a note for your boss, they actually the That's MTA great. actually makes them available. Yeah, you just have to go on the serious? website and say when you were on, right? And they will email I you. I like that. I li have we done a story? On I need to. I need to test that. I've I never like tested it. that one. Because how it's do good. you? And then we got to see what the it's boss good. says about it. But uh, there's see, there's my mom. She. Uh, she, oh, she's, she's, Hi, she signed it. I called her to make sure that it was actually okay. working. Hi, Greg. <laughs> can you read this, mom? There, we'll just. So if I hit this, you're right. going to be doing this right, uh -huh, uh -huh. Mr. G was the test. But he apparently couldn't actually talk. So, so Tammy doesn't want you to become a tech reporter. Well, yeah, okay. that, I, I don't, it's not, blame the internet. <laughs> I'm playing, play, right? No, I, I'm sure I probably clicked something with all of this typing. Well, what do you work on for tonight? What's the, it's a pretty good um, news. A couple of different yeah, things. We're, uh, Mary Murphy's got a Mary Murphy mystery mm -hmm. night, so there's a lot going on with that. And we're also uh, talking about uh, people, that, the growing trend of writing your own obit. Write your own yeah, obit. Yeah, that was like a big story. They got a lot of I know, I saw Andrew. Was Andrew. Yeah. Who did the story. Now we're talking about the mess that the weather left behind. This, uh, even though it didn't snow, the wind did a lot of damage. And we didn't get it here. It's really bad uh, in other parts I, of actually, the Actually, I saw when we, uh, when we left last night, right around 11, just a little bit of snow yeah. started, and that was it. So. But I think it got a lot worse up northeast, right? Did yes, they, yeah, for sure, right? for sure. Who helps write nice. the obituary? Is it a, is it no, a when service? You, when you, or write you, your, you write your own. People are you, writing their own. But, well, I guess, and you just you know, leave it? You say, you'd say what you want to say about yourself, right? Right. No, nobody, nobody else has the final word. <laughs> right. You don't want to go to Facebook and right. maybe some, have someone draft it from there or right. something. Right, right, right. So we're going to see uh, Fulton Center. Yeah, that's going to be mm -hmm. happening. Uh, yeah. Oh, was Jay, did Jay come by? Yeah, Jay came by. We were up and an antagonizing as many people as I can in the newsroom. Hmm. Uh, yes. Dara says hello to Mom. Hi, Dara. And says hello to everyone. There we go. Do, do, do. Very nice. What time are you doing the hangout till? I think we're almost done, but we okay. could just stay here all night. I mean, stay here forever. Yeah, no, Prop it was supposed to be office. eight o'clock. Maybe we can figure out how to talk next time. All right. Are you here for the ten o'clock show? Or no? no. Okay. I think I'm. I'm I, I've had a 
MTA meetings this morning, which you know I really like. Could you tell them that I actually enjoy it? Yeah, he actually that. really looks forward to the meetings. Like you look forward to going to have coffee with your friends at Starbucks. He looks forward to MTA meetings. Yes. Right? I, I don't know. It's just it's interesting to see how. Yeah, she's, I'm not kidding. Yeah, I'm so, not kidding. It's the way it goes. Well, thanks for stopping by the right. Greg Mocker hangout with us. I guess. Thanks. Taylor. Oh, hi, Andrew. Oh, yeah, he's right over there. He's the one who asked about the wheels on the And hi, Alan. Okay, all right. Thank you. Yes. All right, so what do we learn from this? Maybe that uh, it'd be a lot cooler if I could talk to you. And uh, that's probably something we'll figure out here on this end. But thanks for your questions. Everybody, uh, Kevin asked me something about why I said that uh, the G line was the strangest, and isn't that just because that's what everybody likes to say about the G? It's kind of the little engine that could, that often gets picked on, which is okay, right? Because it's shorter. And who knows why it's shorter? See, this would be a part where if we could talk, you could answer. And then I could give a prize for the correct answer. And it would, of course, be a Greg Mocker shirt which we still have. I have to dust them off. The G is shorter because of the ridership numbers. Plus, to make it longer, they would have to almost order more trains or reconfigure things. Because the trains are in service, uh, you know, we're really seeing the capacity there. Amazing. 100-year-old system, uh, transporting 5.5 million people around every day, safely, relatively on time. Um, play your part. Play by not littering and keeping your eyes open, so that's why I called it the I called it the strangest, the poor G, because it's it it's good and it is the only line that does not go into Manhattan. Um, what other lines? What's next for station rehabilitation? The Sea Beach line in uh, Brooklyn. I think that's the Q2. That's the one where there was all kind of weird stuff growing on the walls, and we tested that out. It's an exposed station, so it's above above ground. All the elements, peeling that, that's what peels the paint and grows that strange stuff or, the, or the, the calcium deposits that form on the ceiling of some of those. Not dangerous or so, they say. Uh, LAR also has some work coming next on the uh, adding that uh, second track um, in, on parts of it. That's down the road, you know, the Second Avenue is still down the road, East Side Access, that's the one that will bring uh, the uh, LIRR into Grand Central Station. That'll be great for commuters, but you're going to have to wait a little while on that. That's, I think, uh, uh, in uh, 2019. South Ferry Station is still, you know, a little while off. And let me say one last thing just about the, uh, about the contract uh, and the impact that that's going to have on the budget. Uh, Legislature, the Assembly, the Governor, and the Senate are going back and forth <coughs> on all aspects of the budget now. MTA is getting an increase over last year. There's some heat going on now about taking some funding from part of the transit operations and applying it to the paying of some of the transit debts. It's kind of inside baseball, and they talked about it at a meeting, meeting today. And uh, the bottom line is you know, what does it mean for the operating budget? Is is the investment there to keep our system going, to uh, make it safe, uh, to enhance it, to uh, build up the infrastructure? Uh, is the money there to make sure that employees who run it are compensated fairly? Because the contracts are a big deal. Uh, LIRR is possibly looking at a strike uh, in, uh, you know, in July. Who knows if that'll happen? Because... The political aspect of that is who's going to want to have a strike on the LIRR in the summertime. So, have we determined anything about the about the talking part? Because my mother called and said she she wanted to talk, but she really she couldn't. What what should uh, we do a test now? What did it say? Can we can we we could do a test? Or you don't care? You just want because you got web stuff to do, and I I could just sit here and you know when you close this, I'm just going to sit here at the table and keep talking. Keep going all night. <laughs> Maybe the microphone is the wrong, is it on the wrong? Yes. You know, they can hear me. Yeah, that's not the problem. I don't know. Well, we'll uh, have to, we'll just have to troubleshoot it, huh? Nick. <laughs> yeah, mess my hair some more. Yeah, what is that? Hey, it's, it's. Gel. 
No, it's Subway. It's gunk. It's Subway. Subway, subway stuff. I w I'll continue on about the hmm. contract. Because in the end, it goes to what it goes. I, I do think the light is. It's not. It's not that flattering. But hey, that's all right. Uh, um, contracts for subway workers are out too. Bus drivers. They're all without a contract. Negotiations uh, are ongoing. They'll say. Everybody needs to come to the table and understand that we riders have had uh, a price to pay and our fares have gone up maybe, basically every two years, it feels like, since 2008. In a way, that is the way it's been. Looking at another one for 2015. It's not going to be the 7%, or at least that's what uh, they announced in, uh, in the fall of last year. Uh, that it maybe might be a four percent increase, but you know that's still so, it's still something substantial. So you understand the, uh, the the plight of the employees as well. Some uh, who haven't had a raise in nine years or so. I talked to a lot of people on the street too that say that same thing. Uh, just a tough economy out there. The uh, the, the 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 improvement comes when uh, the state revenues do better, and uh, and investments can be made in things. Still, still interesting, huh? <laughs> Maybe it's the ghost in the machine. Could be. So. Well, how long, how long do you think? How long do you want to go for? I think we should, could we could say good night. Yeah. Good night, Irene. All right. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. The next one. Bye, everyone. We'll figure out what. Uh, no, J. Dow is not dancing. J. Dow just asked if we can dance. All right. How do we? How do we make this stop? <laughs> Bye.